a question I've been seeing a lot in the Canva community is how do I A, remove the background in an image and B, remove an item from an image? So that's what I'm going to show you guys in this video. I do want to preface by saying to do this in Canva, you do have to be in Canva Pro. That's where all the um, these types of magic tools live. So uh, just a heads up there. But as far as removing the background, first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our image. We're going to hit this background remover, which as you can see, it's got the little plus crown next to it or the premium crown. We're going to hit background remover and literally let it do its thing. And our background is gone. Now, if we wanted to adjust a little, because we could see right here, it didn't quite get that right. We're going to go ahead and click on background remover while it's already open. We're going to switch over to restore. And then we can change the brush size of our little icon here to make it more detailed or um, you could grab a bigger space. Let's go ahead with this size. And then you literally just click and kind of drag where you want to restore the image. And that helps to kind of fix that. Okay, so that's how you remove the background. But now let's go ahead and undo that because what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to remove this stack of books from the image. So same thing, you're gonna click on the image itself. Um, but this time, instead of clicking background remover, we're gonna go into our little side panel here and we're gonna go to magic grab and we're gonna click on that. And you have two options here. You can use the brush option or click. The click option is much easier if you ask me. So I go ahead and stick with click. And you might have noticed that it kind of, it did a little like wave of this purple kind of feel. It, it was finding things, objects to grab. So we could grab Bubba here if we wanted to, but why would we remove him? But let's go ahead and we could actually remove specific books. So let's say I just wanted to remove infinite game. We just click on that, hit grab. And then once it's done grabbing it, we'll just be hitting the delete button. It's literally that simple, but um, let's give it a second to finish. And you can see it's selected it now. So I'm going to hit delete and it's gone. Now it did leave kind of a weird look here. I would probably, if I was going to remove the books, I would just remove all of the books because I think it's a little, it's not doing a great job of making that um, look normal. So um, again, we're going to let it find stuff. We're going to click and actually we can hit control and click two things at the same time. Um, then we'll hit grab again and let it grab that. And then once it's done, we'll delete and we'll see what we're left with. It might be obvious a little bit, but I think with all the books gone, it's gonna be much better. Okay, so it's trying to replenish the space. It's trying to replace it with something and it's grabbed Bubba's texture instead of grabbing like the couch or the pillow. So that is a little bit odd, but you're gonna have to play around with some different things to see how stuff works. It's not always going to be effective to remove things from images, but you're always going to run into something like that where it's going to, the AI is going to try to figure out, okay, well, what do I replace these images with? What, what can I grab from the rest of the image? And in this case, it didn't make the best choice, <laughs> but um, you could always replace it by putting something else there um, or maybe just try a different image altogether and maybe it would choose differently next time. But that's how you remove the background or remove an item from an image using Canva. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.